How's it going guys? It's Mike Solomon here and uh, back with another Mike Tries video. Now this one that I got today, it's another limited edition. It's what I'm going to be trying to focus on here. Fudge covered Ritz. Alright, it's probably another good high idea by marketing. A high idea. Why didn't I say idea the first time? All right, yeah, another another good idea from uh from marketing there. So um, I like Ritz crackers. Fudge is okay. Can't really go wrong. So I mean, I, I'm a little more excited about this one. This sounds a little better than some of the other ones that I've caught. Oh, wow, they just look like like I might be having a peck of Thin Mints. I could fool somebody. <laughs> Make somebody really disappointed. Um, you know, like. Uh, I like chocolate covered peanuts, that salty and, and chocolate mix, but I mean peanuts is a bit different than a, than a rich cracker. Um, I I think this one could be good. I think this is something you could probably top. Top this bad boy with some like whipped cream and some strawberries or something. Be a nice little snack for you and your friends. So what we got here. Like no, literally, like you look at it like you could probably fool somebody be like look I got you a thin mint and then just like get them really sad afterward but uh down the hatch I guess I, I don't know what I was expecting like I don't know if I thought like that'd be some secret gem of flavor that I didn't expect like something mind blowing. It's a fucking rich cracker and chocolate. <laughs> like, yeah, this is just it. There's nothing. There's nothing I can tell you, video, internet world, fudge covered Ritz. That's it. It's done. No, this is the end video. End video. Cut the cord. No, uh, it's not bad. I'd eat them. I'm gonna eat another one just because. Um. Again, weird, weird snack to have by itself. I, Cause like I said, I like Ritz. I wouldn't be throwing cheese and pepperoni on this bad boy. That's for damn sure. But I think if you loaded it up with like a little dollop of whipped cream, uh, some strawberry, cause I gotta love some good fresh strawberries. You know, something like that. I tell you, I think this would be really good for something like that. Or if you had a bowl of ice cream, you could just dip it, dip it right in the ice cream. I think that'd be good too. But. And much like chocolate, just melting all over the fingers there. Well, oh, I don't know what I was expecting. I don't know why I thought this video number four might be the breakthrough. But don't worry. If these first handful of videos have let you down, stay tuned. Cause video five. Video five might catch your attention video five will be me trying flaming hot mac and cheetos yeah you heard me right that's probably the number one idea <laughs> flaming hot mac and cheetos i think burger king did normal ones and they weren't good <laughs> but Maybe with the flaming hot. I do love flaming hot Cheetos, as I've said before. Love spicy stuff, even though flaming hot Cheetos are so that's very low on the spicy scale. If you actually like spice, um, so flaming hot mac and Cheetos. That'll be the next one I do. Uh, I hope you're more excited than I am. Ah. Uh, anyway, uh, thanks again for tuning in. Um, go get yourself some fudge covered Ritz. I guess they're pretty okay. They're not bad.